Hi, Micro Punter here again. And today I received another question that I would like, that I would like to answer. Uh, thanks, for, thanks, sir, for explaining important issues about microscopes. Thank you for the thank you I want to add. Please, I would like to know the difference between objectives like plan, new floor, oil, because I'm a macro photographer and I need the best one which can give me a sharp and good photos. So I need help, please. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you for the question. I can give you a short answer and then I'll elaborate a little bit more. The short answer is for the best uh, results, you have to go for plan apochromatic objectives or simply plan apples. But they are expensive and now this is basically the reason why there are so many different types of objectives because they are there because they give you a different uh, yeah different quality and the higher the quality of the image uh, that is produced uh, the more expensive it is and uh, simply to give you an overview of some of the corrections that uh, objectives do um, first of all there's this thing called chromatic aberration this is the following that the light uh, white light it is composed of different wavelengths and uh, they are not refracted the same way by the lens optics and uh, this means that uh, the red waves are basically yeah they meet f uh, before uh, the the blue rays uh, so that means there is actually a difference um, in in yeah uh, the space basically where the the light is focused but it, it focuses differently for different uh, wavelengths and this has to be corrected and uh, the apochromatic objectives they give you the highest correction and this means that all of the wavelengths um, of the different colors they are not all of them but most of them actually are focused to one single point so for example the ones that i have here these are called so-called achromatic objectives um, they basically also are they're the standard ones the low cost standard objectives and uh, those uh, objectives here what they can do is they can cause so-called purple or yellow fringing it's also chromatic aberration and this means that uh, some um, you know, objects that um, basically can look uh, like that they have a yellow fringing Range um, around them, um, and it's an optical artifact. And then if you want to have this uh, removed, then either you have to do some image processing. There's some programs that are able to remove this, or you use uh, apochromatic objectives. Then there's another thing that uh, these uh, objectives that what they have to remove is, for example, spherical aberration, and that is is uh, when the, the light rays which hit the lens on the side um, are refracted differently from those that go through the center. Um, there's a technical reason for that because the lens surfaces are generally spherical in nature for uh, manufacturing purposes and this has to be corrected um, and then there's also the issue of field curvature which means that uh, the lens of the, of the objectives they do not project uh, the image uh, in a one horizontal plane but the, actually the uh, plane of focus is actually curved and the so-called plan objectives they remove that now I know that's a lot of information now but the point that I just want to make is is that different objectives uh, basically correct uh, those errors to a different degree and uh, the more of these corrections that the objectives make the more expensive the objectives and the highest corrected objectives are the plan apochromatic objectives okay so they have a a, a plan uh, yeah focus and this means that the center is also in the focus and not only this uh, yeah, when at the same time when the sides are in focus now for non-plan objectives the problem is is that when the center is in focus the sides are out of focus and vice versa so if you take a picture, uh, then this means that you do not have a uniform uh, yeah, picture which is uniformly in focus. And that means for photography, you probably want to have plan objectives. Um, but I don't have it and I'm also doing fine uh, because in many cases, uh, the viewer does not uh, know about that unless you specifically look for it. Or you simply take a small region only from the center of the image and then you do not see the blurry um, yeah, uh, periphery. So there are certain ways that how you can compensate this a little bit. But generally what I wanted to say is, is that if you want to see all of those different uh, types of objectives I put a link on the bottom um, and uh, there is this website that really explains th this quite well however there's another comment I want to make um, that's uh, that is the high expense and the high price of the plan apochromatic objectives and I think um, yeah, um, it's a dangerous thing that I'm saying right now I think that they might not always um, be necessary I'm trying to formulate myself very carefully because it depends a little bit on what you want to observe. I think that uh, the visual impression of um, a microscopic image does not only depend um, on the 
technical quality that the microscope is able to produce. Of course, it has to be generally in focus and the colors have to match. But I think the interest of microscopy is not only related or only linked to the technical quality of the image, but also of the content of the image. Now, unless you're really making um, artistic images using microscopes and that and there are lots of folks out there who do that, unless you're doing that, if it's only quote in, in quotations only nature observation and if you want to document that uh, i claim that technical image quality is not maybe the most important thing okay i'm, I'm trying to formulate myself carefully here right now okay so um, i think that uh, you only get a good result as also with uh, good objectives also if the specimen is good um, if there is a lot of dirt on the specimen or if you take a water sample you want to take a nice picture of this water flea and you have your best equipment but the problem is there's so much other stuff floating around and then the image looks dirty even though the technical quality of the picture might be high. So you see what I mean? It, there are other factors as well. And one factor that um, has to also be considered is, is that, uh, yeah, it's not only the objective that matters, but also the optics that you have here um, in the photo tube, because they also have to cooperate. You don't want uh, to use a photo projection eyepiece in here that kind of messes up the, the good optical quality of your objective. So you see um, the whole system has to kind of work together and therefore, um, if if you are really interested in the highest uh, quality of image then I would recommend that yeah you, you gotta go to good microscope manufacturer maybe one of the big four Olympus, Zeiss, Nikon, Leica uh, which one did I forget, forget uh, if I've got all of them already um, and the thing is is that uh, they basically are able to offer you complete solutions where all of the optical uh, yeah, systems uh, kind of work together in, in, in the best way and then you also have the highest image quality but if you're not basically I don't know, buy a photo projection eyepiece which does not uh, compensate the lens errors of the objective, well then what's the point of buying an expensive objective? Yeah? So you see there are a whole bunch of multiple factors here, but um, yeah, so there, therefore I, it's difficult a little bit to simply give you a simple advice say, to say, okay, buy this objective and then you'll be fine because there are other parameters as well. Um, also the setting of the condenser is very important for getting the image quality and, and a whole range of other things as well. So, but because you, so you mentioned that you are a macro photographer what i have is the following recommendation maybe before actually going into micro photography um, maybe you want to explore the possibilities of stereo microscopes i mean i've over here you don't see it i have to yeah, i'm gonna pull this one in that's my new stereo microscope that i've got okay um, and uh, that allows you also to take very good pictures uh, i also got a digital camera digital reflex camera mounted up here let's move it back again um, and uh, i would say that maybe if you do not have specific uh, interests in, in specific interest in specific specimens that is and uh, maybe stereo microscopes might also be a, an option that you might uh, consider because honestly a good uh, yeah plan apochromatic objective costs i don't know i i, I checked ebay 1500 euros 2000 euros and upwards just the objective not the microscope okay and you can get a, a decent uh, stereo microscope already for a few hundred euros or dollars okay so that is simply uh, something that i would like to um, also mention and the last the last point is uh, oil well oil immersion that is again a totally different thing and has nothing to do with plan um, or apochromatic or achromatic or with the, the correction of the lens errors uh, oil immersion is there to increase uh, the numerical aperture that is the resolution um, of the objective because what you have is, is you have between the objective and the, the slide you have uh, normally you have air but uh, those oil immersion objectives allow you uh, to put a drop of oil between the objective and uh, the slide and this means because there is no air there there is uh, the light is not refracted away but there's more light uh, able to go into the objective there's not only increases the brightness but also the resolution um, so there is also yeah apochromatic uh, oil for example or apochromatic oil uh, objectives and so on so that is not a completely separate 
yet it's not related to the correction of lens errors okay well so this was, this was just a take we uh, might take on the whole issue um, yeah apochromatic uh, plan objectives uh, basically give you a flat field of view everything is going to be in focus center and the side and also gives you the sharpest and most uh, contrasty images because uh, all of the light colors or most of them are focused to one point um, so it eliminates chromatic aberration and um, yeah which basically gives you also the best uh, yeah, color reproduction but then again oh, there's a whole bunch of disadvantages as well the major one being high cost I wish you all the best happy micro punting as always and if you have any questions please uh, yeah write comments and I'll try to answer them bye bye